Hello students, in class 12th chemistry, the D and F block elements and in this video we are going to discuss about the trends in standard electrode potentials of the redox couple M2 plus oblique M and M3 plus oblique M2 plus of transition elements and also trends in stability of higher oxidation states of transition elements. First come to the trends in M2 plus oblique M standard electrode potential. As we already discussed that standard electrode potential depends on the three parameters enthalpy of sublimation, ionization enthalpy and hydration enthalpy. For 3D transition series, this is the 3D transition series and these are the values given enthalpy of sublimation or enthalpy of atomization is same in this case these are the two enthalpy of ionization this one is first and this one is second and this is the hydration enthalpy and these are the values of standard electrode potential now if we see the general trend generally less negative e note values across the series due to the general increase in the sum of the first and second ionization enthalpy you can see from these values the sum of this is first one and this is second one ionization enthalpy if we add these then the sum of these two generally this is increases that's why this value becomes less negative across the series but some exceptions are there e note value for mn ni and zn see for mn this one is this minus 1.18 for mn for ni this is minus 0.25 and for zn this is minus 0.76 these are more negative than accepted from the train but at the same time you can see for copper this is positive now what are the reason for these you can see the stability of the half filled D subsail in M2 plus and the completely filled D10 configuration in Zn2 plus are related to their E note values. Clear? Whereas E note for Ni is related to the highest negative hydration enthalpy and E note value for copper is positive why this is due to high sublimation and second ionization enthalpy is that clear student now come to the trends in m3 plus oblique m2 plus standard electrode potentials this table indicate these values for titanium to cobalt for scandium it is not given and for this zinc is also not given but we can predict for scandium this is the low the low value of scandium reflects the stability of sc3 plus which has a noble gas configuration yeah in this low value means m3 plus will not easily convert into m2 plus or we can say low value means this m3 plus is more stable okay if high value is there then we can say this m2 plus will be more stable see the highest value this can also not be given in the table but it can be predicted for zinc this is the highest the highest value of zinc is due to the removal of an electron from the stable d10 configuration of zn2 plus highest value means m2 plus state is more stable okay now again see comparatively high value for mn you can see this is mn this is in positive it means mn in mn2 plus is more stable why because mn2 plus has a d5 configuration okay but at the same time we can see low value for fe okay low value for fe this one compared to the mn show the extra stability of f3 plus okay low value means m3 plus is more stable high value means m2 plus is more stable okay and comparatively higher value for v that is for vanadium is related to the stability of v2 plus stability of v2 plus and it has half filled t2g level 
Now, what is this T2G level? Actually, there are the 5D orbitals. Okay, these are the degenerate. It means have the equal energy, equivalent energy. But in the presence of ligand, these D orbital will split into two parts. Okay, and then these are known as the one part is known as T2G level and another is called EZ level. For more detail, we will discuss next chapter coordination compound. In that, we will discuss what is this T2G and what is EZ. See some example. Sums of the first and second ionization enthalpies and those of the third and fourth ionization enthalpies of nickel and platinum are given below. This is for nickel and this is for platinum. Taking these values into account, write the following. The most common oxidation state for nickel and platinum. Okay, first see the answer of this. For nickel, plus 2 oxidation state is more stable. Wherefore is platinum, this is plus 4 is more stable. How can you predict from these values? For nickel, sum of these first two ionization enthalpy is less than that for platinum. You can compare. This is less and this is more. Okay. And for platinum, you can see for platinum, the sum of the third and fourth ionization enthalpy is less. And for this, nickel is high. That's why for nickel, plus 2 is more stable. And for platinum, plus 4 is more stable. The name of the metal which can form compounds in plus 4 oxidation state more easily. I think you can write its answer. You can say this platinum can form stable compound in plus 4 oxidation state. Okay. Some more examples. Cr2 plus and Cr3 plus out of these two. Which one is stable in aqueous solution? You can say answer is chromium 3 plus is more stable in aqua solution due to higher hydration enthalpy. And why this is higher? Because of the smaller size and higher charge. If we compare the size and charge, this is smaller and charge is high. That's why its hydration enthalpy is more and it is stable in the aqua solution. How do the oxides of the transition elements in lower oxidation states differ from those in higher oxidation states in nature of metal oxygen bonding and why? Answer is oxides of transition metals in lower oxidation states are ionic and basic in nature. They are ionic and basic in nature. Whereas in higher oxidation state, it forms covalent oxide which are acidic in nature. Okay. We can see in lower oxidation state, less positive charge is there. That's why it can that's why it can lose more electron. And loss of electron it represents its basic in nature. Okay. At the same time, if higher oxidation state is there, then this is covalent due to the Fajan's rule. More polarization, more covalent character. And higher oxidation state means more positive charge and it can accept electron easily. That's why this is acidic in nature. Name a transition element which does not exhibit variable oxidation state. Your answer will be scandium. It has only one oxidation state is plus 3. Again, see, zinc also show only one oxidation state plus 2. But zinc is not a transition element. That's why our answer is scandium. Some more example. Explain why E note, that is standard electrode potential for Mn3 plus M2 plus couple is more positive than that for Fe3 plus Fe2 plus. Okay. Now, if we compare the electronic configuration, Mn2 plus had stable 3D5 configuration. Okay. That's why this is more positive. And Fe3 plus is more stable because of 3D5. Is it clear? This is more positive for Mn3 plus more positive means this will easily convert into this one. Mn2 plus is stable. And for this, this is less positive. Okay. Less positive means this is more stable. Okay. Why is Cr2 plus reducing and Mn3 plus oxidizing when both have D4 configuration? Now again see. Cr2 plus when lose the electron convert into Cr3 plus this process is oxidation. Okay, that's why this is reducing in nature and reducing in nature means this is more stable. 
and why this is more stable because 3d4 is converting into 3d3 and 3d3 as half field t2g is more stable and that next mn3 plus gain the electron that is reduction process and in this case it will convert into mn2 plus and this mn2 plus is more stable because of the 3d5 half field stable configuration for the first row transition metals the e naught values are given explain the irregularity okay not not regular what is the reason so you can say e naught values are not regular which can be explained from the irregular variation of ionization enthalpies of first and second and also the sublimation enthalpies which are relatively much less for manganese and vanadium now trends in stability of higher oxidation states highest oxidation state of a metal exhibited in its oxide or fluoride only because f and o are most electronegative elements you can see this table now in this case we can say this is titanium is forming tix4 where this x is halogen it may be fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine okay in case of vanadium vanadium is show its highest oxidation state only with fluorine in the same way for chromium this is chromium also show its highest oxidation with fluorine okay and if for mn the highest oxidation state is plus 7 but again remember for, uh, with fluorine it is not showing its highest oxidation state the plus 7 state for mn is not represented in the simple halides but MnO3F is known. In this, it shows plus 7 oxidation state. Okay. And beyond Mn, beyond Mn, no metal has a trihalide except iron trihalide and cobalt fluoride. The ability of fluorine to stabilize the highest oxidation state is due to either higher lattice energy as in case of COF3 or higher bond enthalpy for the higher covalent compounds. For example, VF5 and CrF6. Now come to the copper. All copper second halides are known except the iodide. Okay, that is copper second iodide is not known. In this case, Cu2 plus oxidizes I minus 2 I2. This reaction is taking place. Okay, now again, if you see this reaction, Cu2 plus when react with the I minus, this will convert into Cu2 I2. That is, this is the dimer of CuI. Okay, that is Cu2 plus is converting into Cu plus 1. But Many copper first compounds are unstable in aqua solution and undergo disproportionation. That is Cu plus will convert into Cu2 plus and Cu. Oxidation state is plus 1, here plus 2 and this is 0. Disproportionation means same species undergo oxidation and reduction. Now, why Cu2 plus ions are more stable compared to C? U plus ion in aqua solution. Its reason is the stability of Cu2 plus aquas rather than Cu plus aquas is due to much more negative hydration enthalpy of Cu2 plus aquas. Cu2 plus is smaller in size. That's why its hydration enthalpy is more compared to Cu plus. And this more negative hydration, uh, hydration enthalpy compensates the second ionization enthalpy of copper. The highest oxidation number in the oxides coincides with the group number and it's attained in like this is scandium oxide to manganese oxide. Okay, that is in oxide, the highest oxidation state is equal to their group number like scandium. It is in third group. That's why oxidation state is plus three. In case of Mn, this belongs to the group seven. That's why its highest oxidation state is plus seven. Beyond group 7, no higher oxides of Fe, above Fe2O3 are known. Clear? Although ferrates 6, ferrate 6 like this is FeO4 2 minus are formed in alkaline media, but they readily decompose to Fe2O3 and O2. Now, this point is again important. The ability of oxygen to stabilize these high oxidation states exceeds that of fluorine. 
सी वन एग्जाम्पल हाइएस्ट एम एन फ्लोराइड इज एम एन एफ फोर दैट इज इन विद फ्लोराइड हाइएस्ट ऑक्सीजेशन स्टेट ऑफ एम एन इज प्लस फोर वेर एज हाइएस्ट ऑक्साइड इज एम एन टू ओ सेवन इन इट इट्स ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इज प्लस सेवन इट्स रीजन इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ ऑक्सीजन टू फॉर्म मल्टीपल बॉन्ड्स ओके ऑक्सीजन कैन फॉर्म मल्टीपल बॉन्ड्स बट फ्लोरिन कैन नॉट फॉर्म टू मेटल्स एक्सप्लेन इट्स सुपीरियोरिटी okay in the covalent oxide there is mn2o7 each mn is tetrahedrally surrounded by oxygen including a mn o mn bridge you can see this structure okay this is one one tetrahedra and you can say this is the another tetrahedra and in both the tetrahedra this oxygen is common okay this is the structure of mn2o7 thank you